If you or your team need documents or pages to go through a multi-stage approval process with a number of colleagues or teams before it could be finalized, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to create these more complex, multi-stage approval workflows with ease using Workflows for Confluent. If you're looking for a simpler, single-stage approval workflow, then please check out our other video, which will be linked on the screen now. And with that being said, let's dive in. To begin with, I'm going to need to jump into the Workflows Manager so that we can access the Workflow Builder. But first things first, just as a reminder, I need to be either a Confluence system admin or a space admin to build workflows in Workflows for Confluence. In this video, we'll build a workflow from the perspective of a Confluence system admin. But as I mentioned, you can also do this as a space admin and you just need to go to the space settings. So to begin the process, let's dive into the global configuration settings in the top right hand corner. And then when Workflows is installed on the left hand side, you'll have this Workflows option here. And once you click into this, this will bring up the Workflows Manager. Okay, now we're here, we're going to create a multi-stage approval workflow. And in this example, we'll have three separate stages of approval. First, the document will need to go to our line manager. And once that approval has been complete, it will then transition through to the QA team for their review. After the QA team has approved the document, it will then go to the project manager for final sign off. So let's start building the workflow. To begin, let's click the create button here and give the workflow a name and description. Just as a reminder, the name and description will appear in the Workflows Manager behind, but it will also be visible to other Confluence users when they are selecting workflows for their pages. So be sure to add enough information to differentiate them from each other. So I'll start by giving this a name and the description. So once you've added the name and description, just click Create and this will open the Workflow Builder. Now, here we have a completely blank canvas to build the workflows that we need. And on the left hand side, you'll notice the different triggers, logic and actions. But we're not going to go through all of these in this video. And if you want to find out more about these, I would highly recommend watching the workflow builder video that's available in the video description. So as I mentioned before, for this workflow, we're going to create a multi-stage approval process. And first, we'll need to start with the create or trigger node and place this at the top of the canvas like so. Next, we'll add the statuses. So let's start with the first status here, and we're going to name this draft. So this is the first stage that the page in Confluence will transition to. I'll then go ahead and add the approval status. And as mentioned earlier, this is the line manager review. This will be stage one of the three stage approval process. So I'll call this line manager review. Finally, for this stage, we just need to add the approved and rejected statuses for this part of the approval cycle. So I'll drag in two more statuses here and I'll call this line manager approved. And line manager rejected. Great, we're almost done. The last stage is just to add the approver to this approval node. So if I click into this and go to the approval tab, for simplicity in this demonstration, I will just add myself. But you can choose any users or any confluence groups that you want at this stage of the approval. There are lots of other options in the configuration settings that you can see here. And if you're interested in any of these, I would highly recommend checking out our documentation, which will take you through all of these. Right, on to the next approval cycle. We have two options here. I can either move the workflow straight into the next round of approvals for the QA team, after the line manager has approved the document, or we can add a status that allows page owners to make amendments or adjustments based on the feedback they receive from their line manager. So let's go with the latter option and we'll add a status called revisions. After this status, we just need to add in the next approval cycle, which is for the quality assurance team. Just drag another approval status into the canvas and we'll call this QA review. And as before, you know what comes next. We just need to add the approved and rejected statuses into the canvas. And before moving on to the final approval stage, we just need to add the approvers for the QA review. So I'll go ahead and add some colleagues into this. Now we're on to the final approval stage, which is the project manager approval. We'll drag the approval node onto the canvas and we'll call this project manager review, like so. And finally, just add the two statuses for approved and rejected. So we'll drag these into the canvas and 
change this to approved. And rejected. Just for completeness, because we've gone through three different stages, I'll add one more status, which is approved. And this will represent the entire document being approved and having gone through all three processes here. Just need to quickly add the project manager into this status. And we are almost good to go. That's all the statuses in place, but we just need to connect the workflow now. So if I go back to the top and then it's just a simple click and connect. And just like that, we have a workflow that is ready to go. And just as a reminder, you can customize this workflow even further. You could add even more approval cycles, or you could add some of the actions on the left-hand side into your workflow. And these will automatically trigger at the specific points that you want them to in the workflow. But to keep it simple, I'll go ahead now and save this workflow, which will take me back to the workflow manager. And then if I click onto page two, the multi-stage approval workflow is here, but it's inactive. So we just need to enable this. And now that it's enabled, this is ready to add to any Confluence page in your Confluence instance, because it's a global workflow. So let's go and see it in action on a Confluence page. So now that we're on a page, there is no workflow added to this page, as you can see at the top here. And we just need to click on the apply workflow button, which will begin the process of adding the workflow to the page. So click apply here, and this will bring up a list of all the workflows that are available at a global level, but also if you have any space level workflows, they will also display here. So we just need to find the multi-stage approval workflow and then click apply. This has now been automatically added to the page. And what you can see is at the top, the first status draft is now visible on the page. Now, if I click into this workflow status, you'll notice it gives me the option to transition it to that next stage, which is the line manager review. So if I go ahead and click that, the page will automatically refresh and the workflow status at the top of the page has updated accordingly. Because I am the approver at this stage, I have also received an automatic email notification prompting me to go to this page and review it as it is waiting for my approval. So I click into the workflow status. Here I can see I'm the approver, it's pending, and I have two actions, either approve or reject. So I'll go ahead and press approve. I won't leave any comments, I'll just press approve and go through to the next stage. And you can see here now it says line manager approved and the page owner can go back into this page and then transition it to the next stage, which is revisions. And as mentioned in the workflow builder, this is where the page owner would go back into the page, make their revisions based on the line manager review. And then once they're happy with the changes, they can then transition it to that next stage, which is the QA review. So again, following the same process, click into the workflow status here and then transition to QA review. As you can see at the top of the page, the QA review status is now showing. And if I click into this, you'll see that it's waiting for three people as selected in the configuration. And these three people would have now received a notification asking them to go review this page. So this is where we'll conclude the tutorial. But as you've seen, it's really quick and easy to build a multi-stage approval process using workflows for Confluence. And it will give you the tools you need to bring the way that your organization works into Confluence and create a more robust document management process. And there we are. Your multi-stage approval workflow is ready to go. To add this workflow to individual or multiple pages, be sure to follow the steps in the video linked on the screen now. If you're new to workflows and considering trying it out, you can get a free 30-day trial on the Atlassian Marketplace by following the link in the video description below. And just remember, we're here to help you get the most out of workflows. So if you want to learn more about any of the features in the product, be sure to check out our user guides by following the link shown on screen. Or if you have any questions, just send an email to support at fox.io and one of our customer support team will be happy to help.